this month's video um, project. This month's project is a game board for marbles. Some people call it our aggravation. So this is going to be a 14 by 14 board. And we are going to have a file, create a new file. And I'm going to make my file 16 by 16 by 3 quarters of an inch thick. It's a single sided job. We're going to go from the material surface for our Z0. Our XY datum is going to be in the center. And we're going to do the standard resolution. And we're just making containing maple. You say OK to that. Now, I did a little research and found some pictures of the aggravation game to get an idea of spacing for my marbles. So the first thing we'll do is we will go and I will bring in my bitmap of the book game board. And here's my bitmap of the game board. And it basically gives me an idea of where things need to be. Um, when I measured things, basically these here are half inch holes. Okay. For the marbles but we're going to bore them out at 3 8 because our marbles are half inch so i'm going to put a couple notes up here for myself so we're going to go 11 and 3 quarters by three and a quarter and that's going to be our basic board or field size for one direction copy it and then paste it and then the copy I'm going to rotate 90 degrees so we'll go to rotate rotate it 90 degrees now I have my basic cross pattern for my game board the next thing I'm going to do is just basically come in here and take these particular fields out of the way now if you will notice we have 56 holes that we need to come up for from this point here. Well, I already know where the center of this guy is because remember I put the guideline in. Now, we need to make the four that come up here for each one of these areas. Remember, four is 2.1, 2.5179. Or we could just come back over here like we did before. Go from dot to dot. And then drop this guy down. Like that. Now the first one's going to be even with this. The last one's going to be even with this. What we're going to do is take this. And mirror it across. Flip horizontally. Now we have one over there, and then and you can make this any font that you want, and I'm going to just leave it, I'm going to change the font. Um, let's change it to Arial. Arial always works the best for me. I like to do single line too for this kind of stuff. So let's find something that is pleasing. That's not too bad. So let's go. And that's a little on the big side, so let's shrink it down a little bit. I like that better. Let's line it up. 
now just like we did before we can set there and put this around again we want a rotation in the center which is zero we want four of them to go around and voila we got them all the way around Make my boundary. And I will make a pocket tool path. With that boundary, the tool that I'm going to use So, the first thing we want to do is uh, one of the things I like Okay, one of the first things I like to do is I like to take a skim coat off the top of this so that all my letters turn out right. So I've got a box that I put as a parameter around our board size. And I'm going to take off about ten thousandths. I'm going to use a inch and a half end mill. Go to an offset, ramp my plunge move, and hit calculate. So what that does is it's going to give me a skim coat all the way around it. The next thing I want to do is drill all of my holes. So let's go ahead and highlight all the holes, unhighlight the starts. and these are going to be a drilling path come up to drilling path and we're going to make the cut depth about an eighth of an inch we're going to select the ball nose it's a 375 we're going to use the peck drilling method and we are going to put in here marble detent okay the next thing that we need to do is we need to do our starts so we'll highlight all of our starts go over V carve we're going to go down two tenths we're going to use a v-bit and we're going to use a quarter inch we're not going to use these end mills and go ahead and calculate let's go ahead and view that to make sure it's what we want looks good to me so the final thing that we're going to do is we are going to do a logo at the center and I've already imported the logo. So we highlight it here. And that's our logo. We're going to turn off everybody else so that we're not confused by stuff. And this is our logo. Um, we're going to highlight it. And again, we're going to go to V-Carve. At V-Carve, we're going to go down to 100. We are going to use a 60 degree V-bit as our ending tool. And then we're going to use a quarter inch end mill and an eighth inch end mill to clear out portions of our logo. Now what it will do is it will make a tool path for the eighth inch end mill, the quarter inch end mill, and then finally the V-bit. So let's go ahead and calculate. And as you can see, it, it's calculated those. We will preview the tool paths. And 
and as you can see it cuts it all out. Now to get a final look at what we're going to do, we're going to preview our visible tool pads. And there's our final product. On the Next Wave Automation website, we have other videos on the machining, the finishing, and we also have a write-up of full instructions on how to do this month's project. Thank you, and see you later.